Hi there. Today we're going to have a good long look at recycle and in part one we'll be seeing how recycle can change the tempo of a loop without affecting the pitch and vice versa and um, how to extract the timing or a groove map from a drum loop amongst many other things. In part two we're going to take this beat and turn it into this fat hip hop beat. What is Recycle? Well today we're going to be looking at making hip hop beats out of breaks and using loops, taking grooves from well known samples, making your own break beats. And in the old days the whole process of sampling loops and time stretching them and getting them into the right key was a long winded process time stretching, hours of pitching, etc. And then they brought out Recycle, which is one of the instruments, a software tool that you can use to do a lot of this hard work for you. So we all breathed a sigh of relief when Recycle came out. And uh, now I'm just going to tell you what it does. Using Recycle, you can change the tempo of the loop without affecting the pitch. You can change the pitch without affecting the tempo. You can quantize drum loops, either to straighten up the timing or to loosen it up and change the feel. You can extract the timing out of your favorite groove, off your favorite artist record. And then you can apply that groove to other sequence parts or even to other loops. You can replace individual sounds in a drum loop. You can edit the actual playing in the drum loop without affecting the basic feel. You can extract sounds from the loops and you can also process those loops with other effects. The purpose of doing all this is to make the music your own, it's a creative process and that's why we're going to show you how to use Recycle today. So how does it work? You import an audio file into Recycle, Recycle analyzes it with a bit of your help and then you can manipulate the tempo, pitch and much more. You then save your work in a Recycle or Rex file that can be downloaded into any sampler or sequencer of your choice. Note that most software samplers like Battery, EXS24, Halion and Contact as well as most sequencers like Cubase and Logic they all support the Rex file format. So let's open Recycle. The open dialog appears, so look at the notes for types of files supported by Recycle in the uh, downloadable PDF that comes with the tutorial. Now let's open a drum loop. This is our version of the, one of the most classic and famous of all sampled drum loops, Funky Drummer. So we call it PB Funky Drumming. Now, you see the drum loop waveform on the display. The peaks represent the different hits. By hits we mean the kick, the snare, the hats, all the parts of the drum kit. There are several ways you can play the loop. First off, press enter. Then there's also a button at the top of the interface in the transport bar. And then lastly, uh, you can bring the cursor onto the wave display and just click. OK, to stop press naught or you can click stop on the interface. Alternatively, you can toggle between the play and stop using the space bar. Now we're ready for some editing. The first thing we're going to do is define the length of the loop in bars and beats. In our example, we're dealing with a two bar loop. So enter a two next to the bar window and you notice that Recycle recognizes automatically the tempo for you as soon as it knows the length. So press enter to confirm. OK, 
OK. Now, the whole point of Recycle is to be able to control this loop as much as we can so that we can change the tempo, the tuning and more. To do that, we need to separate this audio file into slices. Recycle uses the peaks in the sound file, as displayed by the waveform, to identify the individual hits. In this case, the drum hits, the sounds of the drum kit that's being played. Typically, the bigger peaks usually show a kick sound, snares, and the smaller peaks, hats, ride cymbals, etc. Now, to chop this loop up into its component parts, you can see the sensitivity bar, or slider, up here. Now, when you drag that across, the higher you drag the value of the slider, the more slices it creates, the smaller it chops the loop up into. So as you can see, we're dragging it across and these lines are appearing. And each line represents a slice out of the loop. To get more sensitivity than just using the sensitivity slider, use the plus and minus sign on the keyboard and it will nudge up or down by one increment at a time. Now, depending on the material, it can sometimes be tricky for recycles to recognize every single hit spot on. Like in this example here, you have an example of a kick playing with a hi-hat straight after it. So that means it hasn't chopped it up enough. You can edit that. A quick way to get a good selection of the slices is to set the sensitivity quite high, roughly between 70 and 80, and then edit it afterwards. Let's start at 70. Now, we can play each slice individually by putting the cursor over the slice and clicking. So you can hear it separated the loop up into its component parts. Now, obviously, we've still got the one slice that contains two sounds. So there's one at the beginning and one at the middle. So we need to create more slices. So move the slider until we have every hit detected. You see more slices have been created. Now listen to each of them individually. All our main hits have now been detected, but there's some unnecessary ones as well where it's chopped it up too fine. So let's see what we can do about that. 